Hello, my air signs. Welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and in this video, I'll be giving you a general tarot reading for air signs for July 2020. So that just means if your sun, moon, or rising sign is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or if you're cross-watching for someone else who is one of those signs, then this reading is for you. So let's get going. All right, so we're starting with solar plexus chakra, throat chakra, hope. Look at all these chakras. All right, we have victory and success, and we have the base chakra over here. This is the first reading for July that even has any chakra cards. And look, we have three of them right there. Wow, you guys. Okay, so from what I'm kind of seeing, you've been involved with something that has to do with communication because of that throat chakra card. Okay, so this communication or this style of communication that you've been working with or whatever this is, you should know what I'm talking about. That should resonate with you in some way. But this... Um, this has been giving you hope in some way. Your light has been growing. You're seeing an optimistic future now based on how you have learned to communicate. All right. Now, now we're on the solar plexus chakra. So you guys, you've really built up your self value, your self esteem. You're feeling more powerful based on who you are. Um, maybe it's because you're starting to refine what your true beliefs are through this style of communication. This communication could even just be prayer um, or maybe you're doing affirmations or something along those lines. All right, so for the month of July, I'm seeing victory and success over these things. Um, so where you have seen, it's you know almost been like a cloudy, stormy situation. Now light is starting to shine through those clouds you're blowing the trumpets. And you know what's really funny about that victory and success card with all of these chakra cards as well is because in the book of Revelations, as I read that book, the trumpets always represent to me, they represent your chakras. So it's very interesting that he's blowing this trumpet and it's, you know, with all these chakra cards. Okay. So maybe you guys are going to get into your chakras. You're going to do some chakra healing. Um, maybe you're going to do some yoga, breath work, whatever, whatever it may be. You're feeling like uh, you're feeling a you need to align yourself a little bit because you're feeling you're definitely getting some awareness coming in about something that, you know, you need to gain some balance from. Then we have the base chakra over here all the way on the end. And that card is really just saying this is building up your foundation. So the month of July is going to give you some kind of result that you feel as though you can build your future off of right here. All right, so that reading was with the Psychic Tarot deck. Now I'm going to shuffle the Rider Waite Tarot deck to get a little clarity on that reading, okay? So let's just shuffle these a few times. All right, you guys. Okay, so we have temperance. Again, that's like finding balance. That is only reinforcing the message, of course. All right, then we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups over here. And then over here, we have the Judgment card, which is reverse. So um, we're starting, obviously, with the temperance. Again, in this month, I feel like you air signs are out there trying to find balance in this situation in your life. Um, now, it is going to take a lot of work and attention to detail, but I feel like you're up to this challenge and you're going to be good at it. You're going to you're going to be just fine. Everything will be fine. Actually, in the end, once you look inward and find what you feel, what your true emotions are. And what your intuition, your own inner voice is actually telling you, once you begin to hear that, that is when I believe the balance is going to be found in this situation. Then the judgment card is being reversed over here. Again, it's a trumpet. 
um, that card when it's not reversed, as you can see, it's like these naked people are rising out of their coffins by the trumpet horn. Um, but this card's reversed, so I feel like it's not going to be a huge awakening. That's the thing. The balance that you find isn't going to be a huge awakening. If you feel like it should be a huge awakening, then this is telling you to stop thinking that because it's going to be a slow process that you work at one by one by one by one. It's not like a kundalini awakening that's just going to suddenly happen. It's one that you work for. Okay. Now I'm going to shuffle the crystal angel cards until one falls out for you guys. This will be advice for the rest of the month moving forward in July. And you guys, this is a general tarot reading. So if you are catching this video, even in a different month than July, and it resonates with you, then you were meant to hear that message when you heard the message. <clears throat> Excuse me. So don't let the date distract you. Okay. All right, crystal angels, give us some advice for air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for July of 2020. What do they need to hear right now? Crystal angels, what advice? Oops, there it goes. Okay, so our crystal for the month is fluorite. And it says here, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself. As God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. I think that's beautiful advice. All right. So you'll find that balance once you realize that you just have to be yourself. Be who you really are. Communicate fully. Connect with your power. Build a firm foundation in yourself. Find that balance. Understand it's not going to be a huge fast awakening. It's something you're going to have to work for. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, if you like this video, please be sure to give me a big old like and feel free to share this with your friends on social medias. And of course, if you're a viewer, but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe right below this video. And once you subscribe, you can then click the bell to be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.